Okay, um, this is Rani Ahmed with you again, and uh, this is lesson 17 in uh, TCL programming and TK, and it's about the graphical user interface and the radio buttons and checkboxes. Now, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use checkboxes and radio buttons so you can uh, select from, uh, from a group of uh, items. Okay? And therefore, for example, maybe if you have if you're doing a database application, uh, that a database front end uh, application or a front end for a database application, okay, uh, you would be selecting many uh, things at the same time. You want to delete these at the same time. Similar what you do sometimes in your email or uh, or any program, you know. So. Um, um, this is our lesson uh, execution. Okay, this is how it, uh, it should show this code, and we're gonna keep it always on top. And what I've done is uh, those selections as uh, radio buttons, those which are round, those are radio buttons, and those which are in squares are check boxes. You can toggle them, you know check on check and uh, those buttons okay the first one will show the the radio button selection which one you selected and uh, in the uh, checkbox you'll see be selecting uh, and showing what uh, uh, you have just selected okay okay you would notice that I'm talking about the same thing no because in radio button you will be selecting one of many just only one and only one you cannot select as in the checkbox many things at the same time okay so that's the difference between checkbox and radio button so if I run the uh, radio button uh, uh, but if I run the radio button of course if I select the click it so I just say uh, click here so your choice is one. So what choice is this number one? If I, this message box shows or pops up when I uh, uh, click either of the two buttons. Okay. So I say uh, check box number one, and for example, if I go here, it will tell me that you've chosen number six. Now, and uh, through this way, uh, we there are the values or uh, the value of e uh, each radio button. Is, is saved inside my code okay it's mentioned in the code how how this value is coming because it's a part of the value of the re selected uh, ready button we'll see in the code later but just to tell you what we're talking about now if we go through the uh, ready buttons if I select number one it will say to me no if it say to me you chose and number one because I'm gonna say and 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 okay first and I just let for now we're not gonna, gonna deal with it or you know process it in some way some coding way but it's okay for now so it chose number one okay if I chose one and seven it will tell me again one and seven okay it will append all the time and one and seven and and if I just remove one and say checkbox it will go and tell me it's just number seven. If seven and nine tell you seven and nine, or nine and seven, okay? Depending on the uh, way of uh, of your selection. Anyway, so that's uh, my program to for now, and uh, we wanna you see how we can toggle the selection of one of the uh, check boxes. Uh, if I say if I chose number one now number one is deselected okay it's unchecked so I just click it and it will toggle it and if I click it again it will toggle it okay so it will switch the uh, the choice as chosen or not chosen so if I say now if I use the show selection it will tell you choose nothing okay because let's say a and and something but if I click it here and say show selection to tell you and one so this is uh, our program for now I'm gonna now explain the code now uh, I have of course for every button there is a 
procedure, special procedure for it. Okay. One for toggle, one for push button two, which is the checkbox, and this one push button one for uh, the radio buttons. Okay. Now. Um, uh -huh. Now uh, our code exactly starts packing the uh, those uh, widgets okay from this line okay below this line so I of course you notice I have two frames okay because it's better to have the choices and uh, the radio buttons uh, in a frame okay it's better for your uh, uh, look uh, design and you know your application looks. So, uh, I have this frame, which is for frame rad for radio buttons, which is the yellow one, background yellow, yeah, of course, and it has relief groove, but it has a groove here. Okay, similarly, there's one that's in green frame, uh, uh, frame uh, checkbox for the ch checkboxes, see, frame check. Now, how did I make 10... Uh, checkboxes uh, right away um, uh, like uh, let's say they are uh, yeah, easily done you know you don't have to write each time checkbox number one checkbox number two like you do and the buttons you have to write them you know so what did I do is uh, of course I want 10 then that's known okay that there will be 10 so I'm gonna use a for loop Okay, that starts from 1 till 10, okay, and increment each time by 1. And the dollar $i here will replace this value which says, like, I have dot red number 1, okay, dot red 1. So they, they in the code will look like this. Let's just put this between us. Okay, so it's, it will be like as if you're saying pack dot uh, rad. Uh, one. This is how it's gonna be replaced. The next one will be pack two uh, dot two. Okay. Till okay, you uh, reach the last line, which is back. I'm putting it as a comment so it doesn't hurt me when I run the program again. Back one more time. Okay. Back uh, dot. Uh, and 10 until I reach back dot 10 okay the uh, red dot 10 so this is how they will be replaced similarly for a checkbox okay and you can do this for any variable you want okay for any uh, widget you want okay and it works so um, regarding the radio button the command to create it first before packing it okay which is this command named ready button Okay, this is how I'm replacing the uh, na uh, the naming of the radio button quickly. Okay, and then uh, uh, and then one thing uh, I want to add here: you can, if you are using arrays directly, uh, you can use your own naming. For example, like if you do like here and put the uh, names from the array the array command named uh, array names of this array so you will be replacing the names right away like here okay so this is how uh, uh, you can also name them okay and this way you don't need uh, to know because you are using names you don't need to know how uh, how uh, how many radio buttons you want now um, so I'm using this text which is the text of the uh, 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 of the radio button, okay, that's here, okay, choice number one, choice number two, choice number three, because this is the radio button area, and this is the variable that's gonna hold the chosen value, and of course there will be one and only one choice, because this is a radio button, and the value, okay, which is uh, the choice which was chosen okay so uh, like um, I might say if you ch if you change this choice is 
okay uh, number one you can for example put say I have a list of animals and uh, what did I choose from the uh, which animal did I choose so the value that this uh, selection uh, variable it's like uh, you know what you do uh, a text entry so this will value will be the text variable okay so this selection will be always of course in my code uh, up in the uh, procedures okay the callback uh, procedures uh, uh, will be global the global variable similar to text entry and the text uh, variable uh, variable and uh, and that's for the radio button so every time you choose it will give you if I say here this is choice is 4 now choice is 7 so this is how the choice the variable selection is uh, selected okay uh, of course uh, when I press the, uh, the, related, uh, the related button it will go up to the push button Okay, because that's the relate, uh, related uh, button to uh, the related procedure to that button, and uh, uh, it will take the global selection variable, which is the variable that, as we said be before, this one, and uh, the the value will be printed through uh, text. Uh, uh, text box okay so and this is the message here now uh, of course that this message holds the uh, selection uh, variable here now uh, going to the uh, checkbox is the same however because I have many okay um, I have used the checkbox button which is the check button this is how they call it here in TCL and uh, dot chk i the same the way we did it here because we have a for loop of 10 checkboxes this is what I selected to do okay and I have the variable selection number 2 which holds the uh, values for the, se the selection uh, uh, yep, uh, the selection uh, of the selections of the choice okay of the check buttons okay and uh, you have uh, the value okay of the on value so if it were chosen on the on value okay you will have a uh, the value of dollar i which is that number okay of choice okay because I'm just replacing the number here okay the index that was chosen and uh, the off value which is zero okay so if it's off it will take that value if it's on it will take that value okay now of course when I'm packing I'm using this uh, n frame rad and n frame check because I'm packing them okay now when I go to the check but the uh, the check button here is the button here button 2 okay this one just I'm flashing it to you so this one uh, choice selection checkbox will go to the push button 2 and it will go to uh, global selection 2 because this is the related variable and by the way if you notice how did I write it is selection 2 having an array it will be an array this way so this is how I select many in this uh, uh, in, uh, in the check button method okay and uh, and I have of course to parse this array to search which has been selected by checking the uh, the current value of it okay so I start with getting selection to 
okay uh, I don't need the global selection here anyways but I'm just say saying that I have a selection variable that's internal here okay um, let's say let me say rename it as internal internal also here internal because I'm appending them and uh, for each value okay in the array of uh, in the in the names of the selection uh, array selection to array okay so I'm passing the array of selection two which is which has come from here and uh, getting the names which are the indices which uh, by this by by our terms are the uh, count and the number of choices okay uh, which are 10 so every time you see selection to parentheses uh, dollar uh, I mean uh, section 2 uh, parentheses 1 uh, section 2 parentheses uh, 2 selection 2 parentheses 3 and so on and so on and so on until 10 okay so this is how they are named so we want to get through the array uh, names command okay this one the index the name of the uh, value there so uh, for each name in the selection tool okay uh, array we use the selection va uh, selection to uh, array value we see if it's zero okay it's not selected because this is what we said the off value the uh, the on value okay uh, is when it's selected so if it's not zero so when it's selected here okay set the internal selection variable this is the internal selection variable as the older one which I started with nothing okay and the selected value here of selection to variable okay uh, I know it would be confusing but just repeat the video and you'll understand what I'm talking about uh, so and read the code as I'm uh, explaining okay it's very important so uh, every time you click okay and you show selection button it will tell you four and one or whatever you chosen okay so every time it will uh, check if that value if it's zero or not okay now when you click on something okay it takes uh, the v the the text variable if you want to say okay this one let's call it text variable here those things okay they named it as variable doesn't matter but uh, just between us because it make it something uh, standard between us the text variable here okay uh, when it's uh, when uh, the text the text variable will take the value okay that's set by by either the on value option or the off value option okay when you select it it will run the on value and the selection variable will take uh, the on value if you selected off made it off it don't show the checkbox okay it's not ticked okay like this so this means the value will be the value at zero okay now Sorry. So this is how uh, the uh, selection of many checkboxes works, or work. Um, now uh, we have to show you the toggle of checkbox one. Now I chosen the do the dot checkbox one, this checkbox one, because it was created through the the mass creation of those. <laughs> Uh, check boxes okay to this uh, line and um, 
yes and uh, it should call this function called toggle okay now those two lines just we postpone after this line okay which will toggle the uh, checkbox so if I checkbox one see when I click it it will toggle the selection so uh, so that's how I'm calling the checkbox one and I'm toggling the selection now if I said this way and I said I don't I want this way okay now checkbox one I just should uh, kill the program and run it again so now it's not selected okay if you look with me now I'm saying dot checkbox one select so I'm telling the program to select this one so toggle so it will be also so if I click it again it won't toggle because I just said to it just select it and it's already selected so it will be always selected so this is how the uh, this command works and the other way which is the deselect if it were selected I wanna deselect it so again now it's selected and I say again deselected and it's always deselected so this is how those two buttons uh, th those two commands work um, and that's all well, this is good for you when you want to do some database applications where you have so many uh, selections deleting inserting updating you know so that's good for you to know and uh, thanks for watching